Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel. Uh, this one is for Linux users, so if you are running Darktable on a Mac or on Windows, this video might not be for you. But if you are using Darktable on Linux, make sure you watch until the end because I will show you how to fix this. And this. When I started using Linux a few years ago, I was using system packages for almost everything. But recently I started to use flat packs more and more and there are two reasons for this. First, sometimes the package is not available in my distribution repository, so flat pack is an easy option. Second, flat pack can often offer a newer version of software compared to what is available in my distribution repository. For example, I've installed Debian 12 on the laptop I'm using for traveling. So if I install Darktable using a system package, I will get uh, version 4.2, but if I install it as a flat pack, I will get version 5. For softwares like my file manager, I don't mind if I get something old, but for the photo editor, I like to have something new. And that's why I decided to install Flatpak on all of my computers. But recently, I discovered an issue with the scripting module when Darktable is installed as a Flatpak. If we start Darktable as a Flatpak, you will see that everything is working perfectly. But if we try to use the scripting module, you can now see that we are not able to load them. It seems the Flatpak version of Darktable is not able to load the files and libraries it needs for the scripting module. And this is a limitation for users like us who rely on the scripting module. And based on my tests, all scripts that require external modules are not working. But I have a solution for this. Installing Darktable from your system repository will give it full access to your system resources. And by doing that, Darktable, including the scripting module, will work perfectly. The remaining problem is that Darktable will be an old version, but I also have a solution for this. Let's have a look. If we go on Darktable website and click on install, you will see that there is a section called Community Maintain Package for Linux. In that section, we must click on latest Darktable release. When we click there, we will be asked to select our distribution, so make sure you select something that is right for you. So in my case, I'm running a version of Linux Mint based on Ubuntu 22.04. I can click on Ubuntu and select Add Repository. Now I can copy the command below Ubuntu 22.04. If we enter this in the terminal, you will be asked for your password and Darktable will be installed. Once the installation completed, we can now open the software manager to confirm which version we are using. So as you can see, we are now using version 5.0.1, which is the latest version available at the time of recording. For the scripting module to work properly, make sure that the git package is installed on your system. So in my case, it wasn't installed, so I had to do it before moving forward. With everything installed, we can now open Darktable and confirm that the script module is working as it should. And as you can see, the Enfuse Lua script that wasn't working before is now working without any issues. If you had that issue before, I hope this video was helpful. So if it was, uh, make sure to give me a like and see you next time.